Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Club and uh, in this video we will be discussing a very interesting question uh, on exponents, okay, exponential Olympiad uh, question you can take and uh, why take this question? Uh, because uh, solving this, uh, uh, like it will need uh, two, three areas and it's like a very good revision of those two, three chapters and uh, these kind of questions when you solve, you, you get to use multiple rules from different chapters and you get to understand how a concept is actually applied. Don't worry too much that this question is going to be difficult or something. Try and enjoy the process of solving and uh, then see how the con concepts are actually utilized while solving something like this. It looks like a very simple equation to solve but actually it takes a, a little more than that to actually find the answer of x. So let's see how to solve this and what all concepts are used in this question. Now to list down the concepts uh, we will be using uh, uh, like uh, the formulas from three areas, certs and indices, uh, exponents and the properties of exponents, how they work and quadratic polynomial, roots of a quadratic polynomial to be specific uh, we will be using in this uh, question, quadratic polynomial and also logarithms and its properties uh, will be used to finally arrive at the value of x. So these are the three things that we will be touching upon while finding the answer of this question. Okay, so let us begin. So the equation with us is this 9 to the power x minus 6 to the power x is equal to 4 to the power x. So first what you do is divide this dividing 4 to the power x on both sides. So this becomes 9 to the power x divided by 4 to the power x minus 6 to the power x divided by 4 to the power x and 4 to the power x divided by 4 to the power x. Very simple step, dividing 4 to the power x on both sides. Now this I can write it as 9 by 4 whole to the power x and then this is 6 by 4 whole to the power x and this thing becomes 1. This is a property, very easy property from exponents that if I am writing a to the power c divided by b to the power c, if the exponents are same I can divide the basis. So it becomes a by b whole to the power c. Now once you get that, then the next step, this 9 by 4, I can write it as 3 by 2 whole square and whole to the power x. And then here if you cancel it with 2, so this simply becomes 3 by 2 whole to the power x. This is equal to 1. What I'll do is I'll just interchange this 2 and x here. And this can easily be done. Ye bhi ek property hai. What is that property? Basically when I write a to the power b whole to the power c, it is same as a to the power c whole to the power b, which is same as a to the power b into c. So anyways b and c would have been multiplied. So you can interchange their positions. a to the power b whole to the power c and a to the power c whole to the power b, the values are same. So 3 to the power 2 whole to the power x, I can write it is same as 3 by 2 to the power x whole to the power 2 minus 3 by 2 whole to the power x. This is equal to 1. I arrive at this. Very simple steps and I hope all of you are following this. What we will do next is I will take this that let this 3 by 2 whole to the power x. Let this be m. Okay, I will assume this to be a variable m. So this equation 3 by 2 to the power x cos square. So this becomes m square minus 3 by 2 whole to the power x. So this becomes m. This is equal to 1 or I can write it as m square minus m minus 1 is equal to 0. This gives you a quadratic polynomial. So we need to know the value of m. So we know in case of a quadratic polynomial the roots are given by this formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So we will just apply that here. So I will get m is equal to plus or minus sorry. Minus b. So minus of minus 1 plus or minus b square. b in this case is minus 1 whole square minus 4 into a into c is minus 1 divided by 2 into a is 1. So m becomes 1 plus or minus root over of 5 divided by 2. This will be the value of m. 
simple quadratic polynomial tha this one and i just found the roots of the quadratic polynomial as simple as that this is a quadratic polynomial or quadratic equation and i found the roots now next thing is once you know the value of m look at this i can conclude one thing that 3 by 2 to the power x so m cannot be negative for sure m is definitely greater than 0 m cannot be negative because 3 by 2 is 1.5 1.5 to the power x no matter what the power is it has to be positive it is necessarily positive so m yahan pe uh, we are getting 1 plus or minus root 5 by 2 so that means i can say m is either 1 plus root 5 by 2 or m is 1 minus root 5 by 2 Now this one minus root five by two is one minus two point two three six by two, so this becomes negative. And if it is negative, that means this is not possible. So only this is possible. M is equal to one plus root five divided by two. Now this one plus root five divided by two, if you calculate its value. let me calculate the value so this is 1 plus 2.236 by 2 so it is like 3.236 divided by 2 so it is like 1.212126 this is the approximate value of m now this 1.618 m is equal to 1 plus root 5 by 2 or 1.618 this value that i am getting this is called as golden ratio golden ratio we call it as golden ratio mathematics mein golden ratio is a uh, very uh, uh, like popular this uh, ratio or this number divine proportion also we call this this number 1 plus root 5 by 2 we, we usually represent it as this phi is 1 plus root 5 by 2 okay this is called as golden ratio i'll make a separate video on significance and applications of golden ratio but as of now this number that we are getting in between 1 plus root 5 by 2 this is called as golden ratio phi and the value is 1.618 but however that's not our question here our job is to find out x so we calculated what m is 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to m and i got what m is so let us proceed on that part now So I got 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to m, which is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. What I'll do is taking log logarithm to the base 3 by 2 on both sides. Taking logarithm to the base 3 by 2 on both sides, so I'll get log to the base 3 by 2. 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to log to the base 3 by 2 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 i get this now using the property of log x will come here so this becomes x log to the base 3 by 2 3 by 2 and this is log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2 this divided by log 3 by 2 i can write it as log 3 Minus log two. Simple property of logs that I used. What are those properties? Let me write down the properties here. First thing is log to any base. Let us say base ten a to the power b. I can write it as b log to the base ten a. This is the first property. Then I can write log to the base b a. It is log a divided by log b. And also log of a by b. we can write it as log a minus log b these are the properties that are used here property 1 property 2 and property 3 these three properties and log 3 by 2 3 by 2 this is 1 now you need uh, the values of these log to solve the question but finally we reached here 1 plus root 5 is log of 2 uh, 3.236 minus log 2 divided by 
log 3 minus log 2. Now to solve this uh, uh, further we need the values of log. So if we have the values of log. So log 2 is 0 0.3010. Log 3 is 0 0.4771. And we have one more log value here log uh, 3.236, 3.236, this value is 0 0.51. So, if you just substitute them in the question, x becomes uh, 0 0.51 minus 0 0.3010, this divided by 0 0.4771 minus 0 0.3010. If you are worrying that, that how would I know these values, these values will either be mentioned or you will be given a log table or you can easily calculate these values from the log table. Okay. So, this becomes uh, 0 0.209 divided by 0 0.1761. So, this gives the final value of x as 1.1868. This is my answer. Exponential Olympian question, uh, a little uh, uh, lengthy in terms of solving. But uh, the reason I am taking up uh, these questions is so that you get a clarity of uh, concepts uh, applications. Two, three uh, subtopics are being used to arrive at the answer of this. So beautiful question to revise the concepts, quadratic polynomial roots, thirds and indices and logarithm and its properties. So once you get x, if you want to just verify, just, uh, uh, just in case to check and verify, is this working or not? You can take the LHS, 9 to the power x minus 6 to the power x. So, 9 to the power 1.1868 minus 6 to the power 1.1868. We will need calculators for this. So, this will be like 13.5673 minus 8.3851. This will be around uh, 5.1822. And if you calculate the RHS, which is like 4 to the power x or 4 to the power 1.1868. This is 5.1823. So, approximately they are equal. Hence, the value of x is 1.1868. Beautiful question on exponents and uh, I hope all of you followed this question and the process of solving. So, that was it uh, for uh, this video. Uh, if you have watched this, uh, like watched this this far, do subscribe to the Aptitude Club channel to get uh, more updates and more uh, such exciting videos. And if you are new to the channel, do share it with your friends also and like the video. We'll meet again very soon in yet another video. Till then, keep solving, keep studying. Have a nice day everyone. Bye-bye.